I'll start off by saying, and I know there's some time, um, but I do want to say how grateful I am for my time with Ted. Um, he's been an awesome resource for me uh, getting started here and really appreciate him um, through this transition. For me, uh, with Kevin, I'm, I'm fired up about it. I'm excited. Um, you can tell just in the room and in the building uh, the amount of energy that he brings uh, the, you know, for him to be a resource for me, for his experience uh, in Minnesota and different teams is going to be huge for me. So I'm excited about that. But I can open up to any questions. Brian, do you, yeah. like, do you like the idea that he will come in and challenge you and push you? And yeah. You guys talked about creating pressure on each of you, and Matt talked about that. Now you have another person who's going to be doing that. A hundred percent. I'll say this. You know, I, I got that to a degree uh, with Ted and George before the draft, before free agency. We'd get together, I'd go through the plan. Uh, they'd ask questions. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about this? Have you thought about that? Um, so I, I would assume that that's going to stay the same. But getting another perspective in here that's seen uh, different organizations kind of come up uh, through that process to challenge and ask questions, I absolutely love that. Can you give us an idea of what your involvement in this was? At what point they pulled yep. you in to talk to Kevin and all that? Yeah, once they got the search down to like a finalist group, uh, they knew it was important for me to sit down and have a conversation with those people. Um, so I, I, and I was really thankful for that. Um, so I could really evaluate, like, do we work well together? Do we communicate? You could tell by just the press conference. A lot of the things that we're saying, it's the same. So the same mentality, the same uh, process to get this, you know, or, this organization to a place where we can sustain success for a long period of time. He's on board for that and he sees the plan and felt good about it. So. Um, I was really thankful that they included me in that process. Brian, Brian what, what are your thoughts on the change in the chain of command? Uh, I'm fine with it. It's one of those things where if it makes the organization better, then I'm on board. Again, as he talked about, and it's really what's been happening here before, it's a collaborative approach. We're all going to get in the room. Like I said, I'm going to share my ideas of what we want to do in each phase of it. And um, to be challenged, I'm open to that. Um, and this is really the structure that was here before I got here, so uh, I'm on board. Right, when you were coming off interview last year and took, and took the job, did, did George hint or let you know that maybe that would change through, based on when the new president came in? Yeah, so through the structure change of reporting straight to him, and I knew how long uh, Ted had been here and that was a possibility, I understood that that could mean that. Um, and then through the interview process with them, if it was a candidate that was going to be in that CEO type position, that that could change. Um, so again, I was I was good with that. Do you like the idea of him collaborating with you on football decisions? You know, having influence in the decisions you make. Yeah. Yep. I'm I'm on board with that. Um, I think that makes us better. You know, there's a lot of things we don't talk about it enough, but there's a lot of football collaborating with business, business with football, that has to happen for a healthy organization. So um, I think that's going to be really good. Given his background and the resources that he brings and all the experience he has, what are you looking forward to picking his brain about when you are doing this collaboration? Yeah, like he mentioned um, when he was with St. Louis, like that climb from where they started to where they got to was a championship level team um, and a really good team. I'm, I'm interested in hearing about that journey, some of the, the challenges they had along the way, um, as well as like, the, his time with Minnesota and collaborating with, with those people in that building and really getting that organization off the floor as well. Um, there's a tremendous amount of information that I know I can use in, in my job as well, so it should be good. Ryan, not every team president has that football operations experience that he does have. And, yep. you know, culturally it's different in every building. How do you think that that's going to help you and what you want to do and him on the business side, kind of bridging the gap between both departments? Yeah, there's a ton of knowledge there that's going to help us. There's Everyone's got blind spots. And when you have someone from a different background that's that's been through a couple different organizations, they can give you a little bit of information of maybe there's a blind spot that you didn't see, challenging uh, you on your decisions to make sure, again, I've talked about it a lot, just you're making sound decisions. Um, so he's been through a bunch of those you know tough decisions, and just bouncing those off will help both of us. Winning consistently here has been something that's been yeah. Do, but Kevin's standing out there talking about, I want it to be a thing where we're talking about winning championships, winning yeah. Super Bowls. Yep. What, what do you like about that kind of attitude? I like that because I think the journey to a sustained um, success 
I think has to be done a certain way. It has to be done through the draft, um, being selective in free agency, regardless of how much money you have. Um, those things have to be there. So in order to sustain, you got to do some things the right way from the jump start. Um, and he's on board with that. So I think that's that's really good to see things the same way. Ryan, a lot of people will say that it doesn't matter. Maybe some days that will actually be true. But is it significant to, you, significant to you to be a part of an organization that has a black president and general manager? Yeah, I think uh, George kind of hit it the right way. Um, and I think I mentioned that in my press conference. One, I think that's really uh, – it's awesome by George to to have an open mind and to uh, interview people and have you know really know it, he's interviewing people regardless of what they look like or, or what their background is. So I think that's special, and I've always thought George has that special quality about him. Um, but for me, again, I want us to be successful. So at some point, it's it's not even a question. It's the human beings running the team. Right. Right. On that note, what, what can the rest of the Yeah, just continue to give a lot of people opportunity um, to sit down and interview and, and see who they are as, as human beings and, and find out if those qualities match uh, what their organization wants to be about. Um, and eventually, like I said, if we can do a good enough job over a long period of time, uh, we'll get to the point where we don't even talk about this anymore. I, I think it's been cool just the quarterback situation in the NFL. No one says a word about it, but there was a big topic like 10, 15, 20 years ago. So uh, hopefully we can stay on that same trend. Yeah, the collaboration piece, the challenging part, um, to sit down and have an idea. Um, the one thing you can probably tell and where we are alike is just the creative thing. There's nothing better to sit down with a group of people that are creative and just feel completely free to dump your thoughts on the table. Really cool things can happen from that, and it can circulate and come out with making a really cool decision that can help our franchise take the next step. When you first sat down with them, what were the, the immediate things that, that came across as you were sitting across from him? Yeah, um, it's his background, it's his, his presence, his value of people, um, how he's just a really humble guy, too. That's big for me um, because I think we got a really good thing where no one's running around again, like he said. You know, shouting their titles out. They're just working to get to, the, you know, achieve our common goal, was, which is to be a really good franchise and be a championship level franchise. And then, you know, we've talked in years past before. He reached out when um, I was going through different interview processes and just said, hey, from, you know, pr president perspective, one, I want to see you be successful, but I also want to share some ideas with you that maybe you haven't thought about through the interview process. So it's a really cool how that circled around. Ryan, as far as football in the week and a half since you've had the number one pick, have you found that there's already been a lot of interest around the league in, in that pick, in trading that um, pick? You know, I think right now everyone's on the same schedule. We're all looking at the prospects in both free agency. We are halfway through our free agent meetings right now. Um, we've taken a little peek of the draft process and, and the draft prospects that are coming up this year. I think it's too early. No one kind of knows how it's all going to fall. Um, so I'd assume that picks up here in, in the, probably the next month once we get through the Senior Bowl and, and East-West and all those All-Star games. Ryan, we know that Ian's received some opportunities already yeah. uh, as a potential GM. What has your involvement been with working all that out? Will you guys continue to do your business here with the Bears as well? And I guess how big of a loss would that be if you were to get one of those jobs? Yeah, it'd be a big loss. Um, but at the same time, I was prepared for this. Uh, did I think it was going to be less than 12 months? No. Um, but I'm not shocked at all. It's not going to be long if it's this year, if it's next year. Um, I have a plan for it. Uh, I feel good about it. Uh, again, I, I didn't expect he would be here long. He's a really, really good person. And then his ability to lead and um, really get an organization on track, I, I think it's going to be excellent when he has that opportunity. What, what can he bring as a GM? Uh, consistency, detail, um, super discipline. <laughs> Uh, communication skills are outstanding and then his ability to evaluate talent and then I think the key thing in this position is just listening you know a lot of times you want to get in that seat and you want to like start barking orders and making decisions but how can you receive all the information send that through you know your own process and then move forward in a way that everyone feels involved um, he's special in that part two more <coughs> Brian how do you hope Kevin can help you do your job the best 
Yeah, um, the collabor collaboration piece, um, being a sounding board that's been through some things before. Um, you know, there is, like I talked about, the collaboration between business and football. Um, that's a really, um, you know, special place where if you can hit it the right way, there's a lot of cool things that can happen. You know, when I know some, te some teams have gotten in trouble just crossing the line where it's too much on either side. It's like, no, stay out of my space, and, I, and that's not going to work. So uh, I'm really excited to collaborate with him and how we can help each other. Uh, but again, his knowledge and, and things that he's been through is going to be helpful. When it comes to roster Last construction, one. when it comes to roster construction, just mm -hmm. how involved do you expect them to be? Yeah, it's the same as what it's been uh, this past year. Uh, what I like to do is, is like we're doing right now, we're getting free agency kind of lined up as much as we can. And when we get a, a week or two out, um, I like to sit down with both um, Kevin and, and George and, and talk about how we value certain players, who we want to go after, what's our plan A, B, and C, uh, and then get their feedback on, on how they feel about it too. So we make sure that we're hearing from all sides on uh, how we're building our roster. So I, I don't imagine it would be too much different. He has a lot of knowledge, especially being in the Big Ten around those players. Um, I think that's big. He's, he's been in the, uh, what do they call them, the uh, opening media days that they have, so he's been able to spend time with the players. I think the other thing that I probably didn't hit on either is I've always thought colleges are a little bit ahead of the NFL teams in terms of, you heard him talk about mental health. Uh, we take pride in how we've kind of set that up here, but there's probably a lot of really cool things that a lot of schools have done um, to put their athletes in the best situation possible. So I would love to hear you know, more about that too.